Hello and welcome to a computer science question. This time, this time we're going to be looking at trace tables and pseudocode. So I've got this question here. I've got an algorithm which is eight lines long and I've got a couple of questions underneath that I need to answer. So question one is to describe what this algorithm does for two marks and question two is to complete a trace table, a trace through of this algorithm with these headings for five marks. So to answer question one, I'm going to start with question two. And here's the start of question two. So I've drawn myself a table here. It is four columns by six rows. And I can see the headings there, length, count, index, and scores. So what I'm going to do now is trace this algorithm through. So I'm going to start by putting in the values for scores there. And that is the array there with the five elements, 45, 67, 34, 98, and 52. So I've added those two scores there. Now set length to length scores. So I can see that there are five elements in the array. So length is set to five. Set count to zero. And for index from zero to length minus one do. So indexing is going to start at zero because array indexing always starts at zero. Now I'm going to jump in and see I've written there all of these values. I don't need to do that, but they're not going to change throughout the whole algorithm. So I've just added them all the way down to save yourself time in the exam. You, you don't necessarily need to do that. You can just leave those, those columns blank after the first value in there, but I've put in there just, just to show you what's going on. So now I'm looking at this for loop for index from zero to length minus one do. So what's happening here is it's saying from index zero to the length of the array, which is five, take off one, which is four. Because array indexing starts at zero, we go zero, one, two, three, four, which gives us the five elements of the array. So we need to say for index from zero to length minus one do. Now I'm going to look at this condition. If, if scores index, is greater than or equal to zero. So I'm looking at zero at the moment, index zero. If it's greater than or equal to 50, then set count to count plus one. Now, 45 is not greater than or equal to 50, so count stays at zero there. Next index, one, value 67. If scores index greater than or equal to 50, so 67 is greater than or equal to 50, then green, go, set count to count plus one. That is now true. So I can add one to my count. Next index, I'm looking at index two there and it's 34 and that is therefore false. So 34 is not greater than or equal to 50. So count stays as one. Next index, number three, 98 is greater than or equal to 50. So count equals count plus one. So count therefore becomes two. Index four, the last one. Now 52 is greater than or equal to 50. So I can therefore add one to the count. So looking at that, we can see what that is doing. If we look at that, here as our answer you can see that length has stayed the same because it's always been five scores have stayed the same because those the elements of that array hasn't changed and index has incremented from zero through to four so i've looked at all the values there and count has incremented and i've counted three values that are greater than or equal to 50. So if you can imagine perhaps an example of the use of this, if that was the student's test scores, 
and I want and the pass mark was 50 or more and I wanted to count all the students who were passed so all the students who got more than 50 so I've counted three there so to answer that question then describe what this algorithm does it counts all the elements of the array that are greater than or equal to 50.